In this tutorial we'll be learning about how to create a simple AI that will follow the player route. In this script, uh, first we have the target, which the AI is going to be following. Uh, move speed, how fast it will move, rotation speed, how fast it will rotate around. My transform, that's just for this uh, the object that it's attached to. So on awake, it will set that to the transform of the object the script's attached to. Target, it'll specify that this target will be the player. And then the update function will calculate the rotation so that the um, that the enemy will always be facing or trying to face the uh, the player and then calculate move forward times the move speed and times time so whenever a game's not paused uh, the enemy will be moving towards the player so we are going to create a cube that we are going to be using as the enemy for now. We'll, do, we'll just make it the uh, same size as the player. And we want to um, we'll give this a rigid body so that it'll fall to the ground and uh or else if you you were using like hills and such like terrain like like it would be able to follow it it wouldn't just be floating in the air fol following the uh, player well actually it would it would be flying through the air and rotating towards the player but we're just going to be using a uh, rigid body and we want to toss the ai follow script on here and you don't need to set either of these because they're already set in code. But for the player, it'll probably be untagged, so you want to drop down to player, which is already preset, so it'll be able to uh, find the player. And so, you can go in here, and you'll see that wherever we go, the enemy will follow the player. And since it's got physics, it will be able to push around those blocks as well. If you guys see, since my last tutorial, I moved the blocks on top of there, so every time uh, that hits it, they go flying. And there's another cool thing you can do with this. You could speed up and hit him, send him flying. And after he recovers, he'll uh, he'll start heading back over here towards me. He's just not giving up. Also, since last time I did one other thing, I went into our movement scripts, and I changed it so that. Uh, Run speed was set to 70. That's why I'm moving a lot faster than I was before. So, I mean, you can change these two uh, these two settings to make your character go faster. And that's pretty much it for AI follow for now. I think next time we're going to go over some more complex stuff. So that, uh, well, currently you can see that the enemy hits our player here, but we can make him stop like at a certain distance, so he could stop right there and stuff, but we'll do that next time, and we'll probably code a little combat system, so every time the enemy gets close, it'll attack the player every couple seconds and deal damage, and our health will go down, and then in future tutorials, I'll make something like an inventory system, where you can, uh, use health potions and uh, pick up items and stuff like that 
maybe I'll make it this thing randomly spawn different items that you can pick up and use. So yeah.